take a look at something. We did a video here in the past. Now look over here. There's no blue sign. Look at the scrape marks here on the ground. See this right here? And you see the river? Okay. And look, there's, there's no blue sign. Now there's been some construction. You may remember this spot from a video that I did uh, quite a while ago. Oh, I, off the top of my head, a year or more. It used to be here what, what's called a two-stage left, where uh, scooters such as this one, which is, this one's perfectly legal here, they they'd normally wait in the box, but this scooter's turning left. See, it's turn signal, getting ready to go left. It used to be here that that was technically illegal. It shouldn't have been, but it was technically illegal. Normally, if he wanted to turn left, he'd wait for this light to turn green. He'd have to go to the white box that used to be over there. He'd have to wait there, just like he's waiting here now. Wait here, light turns green, then go over, wait there, and then turn left. That's called a two-stage left in Taiwan. Well, recently, this all got changed. See? Now, he's, he's turning left like normal. That's, that's what it should be. But it used to be that that would have been illegal because this was a two-stage left. Now, I'm showing this to you to illustrate two things. One, I wasn't crazy. I'm, I'm not a nut with my own little weird ideas. I know what's going on in Taiwan and I know what's happening with traffic and I knew that this was crazy. They should not have had a two-stage left here. And I said it and apparently someone in Taiwan's government eventually saw this two-stage left and agreed and changed it. So I'm not crazy. Someone else was thinking the same thing. The second thing that I want to point out is that it never should have been that way. You know, Taiwan came out, they scraped it out, they, they, they scraped out the two-stage left box, they removed the two-stage left blue sign. It never should have been there in the first place. It shouldn't have been there to fix. And, and this illustrates the situation in Taiwan. Now, I, we're at a point where uh, China hasn't invaded yet. I, I wanna show you something. If, if you look way down there, there's a, there's a blue sign way down there. That's a two-stage left sign. We'll go walk towards it and see what it looks like. Um, you know, hopefully China won't invade Taiwan, but that's the time that we're at right now. And, you know, Taiwan's government needs to provide justice and fairness to its people so that they're, they're strong and resilient and so that God in heaven or luck or what have you have reasons to protect Taiwan and keep Taiwan safe. But with crazy stuff like the two-stage left that was back there, um, Taiwan's government is not stacking good karma in its favor. Now, I've been in Taiwan almost 12 years. I came here as an ESL teacher. Now, if a foreigner gets a job in America, it's easy, it's a shoe in just do the job you said you do, five years, you're a citizen. But in Taiwan, it's, it's kind of like what they call a hostile takeover with a company. It's, 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 it's like they've got this excuse and they've got that excuse and they've got another excuse and, and the, the, the blah, 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 and you can't do it. Well, I've been here 12 years and because of Taiwan and their excuses, I haven't been able to get citizenship. And a lot of people have the same story and it's very, very ugly. Here, look at this. Here's a, there's a two-stage left uh, signal up there. Right, right, right up there, uh, vehicles would have to, have to turn. Um, so the, 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 the issue that I'm seeing here is um, Taiwan, you know, this is just one example of, of how Taiwan has laws that aren't suited by having, by requiring a strange left turn back there uh, before they're encouraging people to ignore the laws. That's Civics 101. People will respect laws that are respectable. 
and um, Taiwan has bad laws like this across the board. Now, I'm glad that they're fixing it, but they've got a whole lot more to do. This is just 5% of the problem. They've got 95% more to go. And as Taiwan talks about becoming a better country, which they are, they're small improvement, it's okay. They've got a long way to go and they're not improving fast enough. I don't think they're serious enough about, about what they've done uh, on so many levels. It, 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 some people might say that they need to have a come to Jesus moment about uh, how really bad it has been. And if Taiwan doesn't get this soon, and, and my test is, where's my citizenship in Taiwan and so many others, not just me, but where, where's, where's all the ESL teachers that, that should have gotten citizenship by now? Where are the people that, that Taiwan deported? Where are the English teachers that Taiwan deported because different departments of Taiwan's government said different things about the law, so the ESL teachers didn't know what the law was, and then because they made weird laws everywhere that people couldn't follow, the employers at ESL schools were lying to people, and then Taiwan decided to take it on the foreigners and punish and deport the foreigners. What about them uh, being uh, reimbursed for, for the, 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 what they lost in, in extra plane expense? Where's, uh, that's what I see as an ESL teacher, and then who else has had all kinds of problems? So I've, I've talked about about th these types of problems in other videos. My point is, if Taiwan doesn't improve these things 95% faster, it's at 5%, it needs to be at 100%. If they don't step up their game, then heaven, the universe, call it what you want, that the governors of the universe are going to look at Taiwan and say, you guys need a crisis so that you're able to see what you've been doing to people and really get it in gear. And it's not just for Taiwan. That, that's a lesson that can apply to anybody. Uh, this is what's happening now in Taiwan about this time. That, 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 that bridge up there uh, is under construction and uh, we're in mid-August. Uh, let's hope for the best. You know, the, the thing is we all have friends I want to improve, you want to improve, our friends want to improve, we want people to improve. Um, having a friend doesn't mean that you lie about their faults. Uh, it, it means that we want to improve. And as a friend, America should be hoping in our relations that Taiwan can improve. And I'm saying that they can and need to improve much, much faster. What does Taiwan have to teach us as Americans where we need to improve so that we avoid calamity?